I'm added. Good day, good people, and welcome to uh, FB and the Goob, sponsored by the Good Time Tavern. I'm FB. I'm the Goob. Nice. So how we doing, buddy? Pretty awesome, FB. What's going down? Not much, man. How was your week? Uh, you know what? I had a pretty good week. I don't know if you noticed. I'm wearing my uh, Tar Heel gear. I see. I see that you guys said you did have a. You Co guys, couple did. big wins. Couple, couple big wins. Big wins, actually. How about uh, how about uh, what did you what did you do this week? This whole week? This whole week. What did you do? This uh, week? Well, let's see. I went to a hockey game. Hockey game. Who, what, what was that? Um, Sharks versus um, who did they play? I believe it was uh, the Kraken, the newest team. So I got to see the new guys. Nice. Um, you know, I got to yell at their goalie. Nice. His name was Brew Bauer, but I changed it to Boo Bauer. Boo Bauer, nice. Because you know, it's more fun that way. Nice. That is way more fun. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, well, it's nice. Other than that, how about you? Work and prepare for the kids. There you so go. That's what I did. So I, I did. I, I worked and then I and I got ready for this week. All right. So, so we uh, ready? Talk sports. I think so. Let's do. Where you want to start? Hmm, where should we start? Uh, <laughs> where should we start? You know, without football, it's hard to know where to start. But it, but listen, there there's so much to talk about. Uh, there's the combine, the up and coming draft. The combine started March first today. People are in Indianapolis today. Oh, that's exciting. That is exciting. Young players. Not all. Not all the teams though. Send coaches. Niners. No. No. Nobody, nobody there. Guess we don't need any new guys. No, I guess not. You, I, I believe, no McVeigh, all right, and um, and no Shanahan. So that would be the two, two teams that were in the NFC Championship. I, I believe that's what I read with the, those two teams. The no coaches. Is this a new philosophy? We don't uh, we don't I, look at the recruits. I, you know, I do. You need anyone? Did the Niners need anyone? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we could use uh, some secondary help. Second Obviously, out. cornerbacks, yeah. cornerbacks, more cornerbacks in this league, and I and I believe that there there is a lot of those receivers, defensive line, offensive line. <laughs> uh, nice. Now take some of those guys. And uh, no quarterbacks. No. Not one. Not one. So maybe that's why. Maybe they just said there's no reason. There's so many of them. All right. There's no reason to send a coach or a scout or even care about the draft so that's that's an interesting route i, I believe um the packers were there and i believe i gudekunz was there the special teams guy no not gudekunz <laughs> no that's not, not gudekunz a special team guy that guy he the, the that guy he didn't show up he's he's probably going to make us draft somebody though for special teams absolutely as, as we as we should uh Basachi. Basachi. Yeah, Rich Basachi. Yeah, that guy. He's probably there actually, helping us improve our special teams by finding the best fit for the special teams. He's probably the only coach we sent actually. Was Rich Basachi? <laughs> nice. Just go. Down and according there. to your theory, that's a good thing because you know, end of the draft, no one's gonna care because there's no quarterback. So just lots of players lots for everybody. Of, lots of players. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, and, I, and this is six I, round gems I, I, all over the place. I think you'll see more teams trade up to get the best receiver this year or the best defensive line than you've ever seen because nobody's trading up to get a second round quarterback in the first round. Uh, and, and and the teams that do are just totally desperate. Reaching. The other reaching. Reaching. I mean, if you take the kid from Pitt in the first five picks, wow, you really, really. Uh, it'd be fun to see him slip to the Steelers at 20, or maybe they jump up just a little bit. 17. Yeah. I'd like to see the Packers jump fun. up eight spots and take that receiver. Who's, you know, instead of... The Alabama guy. The, you know, yeah. One <laughs> of the five. If Just, I mean, i like just eight spots, get that receiver, instead of waiting for six to be taken in front of you and then taking that receiver. Actually going and saying, all right, let's go to 18th and take that receiver. I think that's a fair deal. That's fair. Your uh, Jimmy had his surgery scheduled, Jimmy Garoppolo, and supposedly going to hurt his uh, trade value. Oh, so a third round pick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're saying all sorts of weird things, like we get a fifth round this year, and if he plays good, we get a second rounder next year, or something weird. Or, or you wait to find out if Tom's coming back or not, and then you just keep Jimmy for one more year, and let Trey 
sit on the bench for one more year. Well, that's where the cornerbacks come in again. We need Jimmy's money to pay oh. for our secondary. Oh. Since so, we don't have any first round draft picks this year, we can't just go take Stingley from LSU or whoever. Right, right, right. So we're gonna have to have a couple of veterans. Maybe steal some guys from uh, the Seahawks. You could have Kevin King from the Packers. I hear he's a guy. <laughs> See, I mean, we'll look at that. We'll look at that. Nice. Um, okay, so I mean, the draft is so far away. The combine is 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 next week's uh, podcast. I get goosebumps. I, believe, I, love I know, it. I know, I but I, I don't believe there's anything to talk about in that area. I, there's a lot of football to talk about. I don't, I don't think we should rush anything. I don't. Not about football, and not today, anyways. Well, they did announce the ninth or uh, the 2024 draft locations, which I thought were three interesting places: Green Bay, Detroit, or Washington D.C. Oh, that is. So, I mean, talk about a vacation, yeah, people. That is literally that is literally the three places they've chosen for the draft places. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. I just mentioned it. So I, I hope Detroit gets it. One of those great cities. I do. I hope Detroit. <laughs> if anybody needs it, Detroit. There you go. There you no, go. I hope Detroit does get it. Green Bay doesn't need that. And who wants to go to Green Bay? Oh, I, I mean, don't for know. a in the game winter? in Bronx <laughs> in March, awesome, maybe. <laughs> but for a draft, but Detroit could use it. Eminem could host it. There you go. This would be a fabulous draft. We've got some ideas on the table. Go to Troy. All right. right. Um, Listen, um, what do you think about LeBron, man? Oh, besides boo LeBron? (laughs) Besides how his fans feel? Hmm, I don't know any. Oh, you don't know any. No, LeBron has fans? He has fans. Uh, Not in LA, he doesn't. Oh, right. And not in Cleveland, I don't think, anymore either. So you're saying New York? Ooh. I like the way he's... Well, <laughs> I mean, they're not, not fans yet. Well, here you go. Here's how I look. He hasn't left New York yet. I mean... Here, I mean <laughs> <laughs> no, he hasn't. And I can't wait for him to. Um, here's the, I think about this. I mean, LeBron's... I, he, his IQ is off the charts. His, his physical presence is, is unbelievable. I mean, he is still a freak of nature. At 38. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, but but the days of building the, the, the teams of LeBron with all these... I haven't the won super a, teams. Well, I, either I haven't won a championship yet, and I really want to get one, and, or I, you know, I haven't... I haven't... I, 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 I just need to play with somebody who can get me there. Whatever those are, they're all too old now. And, and as, as well as he is too old now, to keep up with these Morants. Uh, oh, oh, John. I get sweaty when I say that. <laughs> I don't know how you get that. I don't uh, know, I, got I don't, a jersey already. Well, I don't know. How do you, how do you, how, how do you put that on the Knicks? I don't get it. I don't know. If you could, we were one pick away. We got Barrett, though, and I sound, that's why I mean, if, if you get somebody like a LeBron James to come and play with an A.J. Barrett, who is now finally showing up as what a third round or a third pick should be? I mean, I he's I, still young. Yeah, he's, he's young and he's improving. starting to and he's improving and and he is now the he, will next year be the face of the Knicks. It will not be Julius Randle. It will be R.J. Barrett's face on the the billboards. The billboards, oh, of course. Unless, yes. unless <laughs> somebody thinks that it's time for him to to get on a, a young team, a young misguided team that needs a general, and and I'm not, I'm not talking about the like the Philadelphia, I mean Phillies do, I mean they don't need them. I mean the Seventy Sixers do not need them. No, Bucks don't need them. Bucks don't need Toronto them. Toronto probably doesn't need they them. Don't, they, Chicago probably doesn't even. Need Right. I think that's a team building themselves. The Heat are not taking them back. No way. Cleveland and no, I can't see maybe some kind of reunion thing for the third or fourth time, <laughs> but I don't see it. But New York is a place he's never been in. It's a place that I, I, I I'm, I'm still flabbergasted every day that that more players don't want to be there. And, it, and, 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 and live that lifestyle and then be paid by the Knicks 
And and I just don't understand. That's the one thing I kiss I'm, every day. I think, what the hell did they do wrong? Why does why didn't LeBron go there ten years ago? You know what I mean? So, but that I mean that's listen, that's it. I mean that's that's where does he go now? Where does he go now? He goes to the Nets. To the Nets. The Nets don't need him. They are building a team. <laughs> no, they're not. They Actually. Not. I mean, they got... Nets might be in trouble. Aren't they still Russian-owned? <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, never mind. Let's not talk about their ownership group right now. They can't be Russian-owned anymore, right? <laughs> no, they were at one point. I threw everything. Maybe it's Jay-Z. Uh, I only have whiskey in this house now. I can promise you that. There's, there's no more vodka in here. I can Fair enough. Tell you that. Fair. Fair enough, right. All right, man. So if, 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 if LeBron wants to... Win another championship. What about uh, did New Zion York? ever get healthy? LeBron goes and hangs out with Zion and uh, McCollum down in New Orleans. Uh, I can see that being fun. Okay, so there's another team, a misguided people, another another misguided team. So yeah, LeBron fits that that. And they bring back Van Gundy to run the whole thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> don't 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 mention God. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I would bring back Van Gundy right now to run genius. my team. That would be brilliant. R.J. Barrett Van Gundy. With LeBron James is the point guard. Oh man, I can't see it. I can't see it failing. I, I see just championship after championship, or at least two. At least two. At least two. Because LeBron. Unless John ja Morant just decides to score fifty a game. Fifty, which you know, he might. You know, I think I want to. I think I want to make a correction. How about we get through this episode without Sam Morant anymore? Because I don't know if I can. I like you know. I fantasize about John ja Morant in the next jersey. I could try not to mention it anymore. I know, I know, I know. But I, I don't think it's going to be possible. All right, so let's let, listen. Uh, as much as as much as basketball is fun to talk about, and playoffs are coming around the corner, and uh, and I, I'm excited for playoffs. But you know what? What we do have is March Madness. We do have March Madness. I know no one cares. No one cares. About baseball. <laughs> I'm going to help fix baseball here very soon. Coming up shortly. That's where I thought we were going. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, well, I, I like baseball, but I, I like to just you know from 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 pros to college. Let's just and let's and I really I'm gonna and coming up soon, Scott. The uh, FB fixes football or but, uh, 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 baseball. I don't even like to say it. I hate that. Brought to you by uh, Jack Daniels and the Good Time Tavern. Jack Daniels. Yes. Um. So who you got in the final four? I'll be honest, it was an interesting weekend. Everybody lost. So, like, I don't know. I guess it's down to Gonzaga and Baylor again, maybe. That was fun last year. Uh, Let's do it again. Kentucky, Auburn, LSU. I mean, Auburn does have the potential player of the year and number one draft pick, so that's always huge in March. How about Iona? Iona? Yeah. I mean... You don't want to give any Iona love out there? You know what I like this year is uh, maybe Murray State, Ja Morant's alma mater. <laughs> how about, how about the, the racers look good? How about St. Mary's and a senior St. led team? And a thing going Are on. they senior, senior yeah, led this they're, year? They're an old team. Any Australians? I don't know. I, I, don't, I didn't check into the uh, geographics of all the players, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. You know, I love, you know me, when we come to Final Four, when we come to March Madness, I love the older teams. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I, I find I find when the Big Ten gets like, a, a, you know, like five teams with all seniors, you, you know it's Big Ten through the whole Elite Eight, you know what I mean? Because it's just a bunch of old guys beating up a bunch of little kids who are just trying to get to the pros <laughs> next year. So, I mean, I, I, I always do, and I and I search for that team. I Where's got that I got team? a squad for you. You got to give me a squad. I give me a All squad right. of senior led team. A senior go. led play team in the in in the final four or in March Madness. Oh, we're gonna make a run. See a super deep team from the Colonial Athletic Association, the Towson Tigers. Get out of here. Leaders <laughs> of their division, favorites to win the uh, tournament and get the bid. Into March Madness. Into March Madness. Madness. I will I will wear a Towson jersey if Towson goes to March Madness. I'll wear the one you bought me every time they play. When 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 did when did when was the last time Towson went to the Madness? Uh when was the last time we made it to any tournament? Probably in the nineties. 
the 90s. So you're going to say the last time you were in the NIT was in the 90s, and you've never been to the dance. <laughs> no, I don't believe so, no. Oh, man. Uh, it's I, not lacrosse. Towson's not in it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Towson Sweet Sixteen then. If you're gonna give me a a, a senior led team against a bunch of kids just trying to get to the oh, yeah. a bunch of you're gonna say a bunch of people that are gonna pass the ball and play basketball the way it was supposed to be played against a bunch of kids that are just throwing up shots and trying to get to the pros. I'm gonna give that team Sweet Sixteen. I'm not saying it's gonna get to the. the and they got a kid named Timberlake, so that's gotta be cool. If his first name is Justin, it's 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 a, it's a, it's raising the trouble. I'm almost positive they're related to the Boots or Justin, one of the uh, two. Oh man, it's raising the trophy. That's Timberland, isn't it? Yeah, Timberland. <laughs> Timberlake, Timberland, it's all the same thing. That's, that, that's your uh, that's your upset special of the uh, of the madness, ladies and gentlemen. That's Towson, <laughs> Towson, for the for at least a victory in the first round. That's how we know. That's right. So far, nice. Um, I, I think Kentucky, not a problem. Little, what is it, little P.J. Washington, J.J. Washington? I think they got not, a little guy, it's pretty good. I think not a problem getting to the Elite Eight, at least, and, and so the, you know, I mean, so the uh, Final Four is hard. It is, they, I mean, so they might not be at the top four teams, so. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's so hard to get there, but uh, talented as usual. Gotcha. So. Are they going to be able to make some shots? Because that's usually the key with Kentucky. They can uh, usually just can't shoot in the final. And that's because they're all kids. That's what I mean by this. They haven't shot 8,000 yeah. Steph Curry shots yet. Yeah, they're, they're all like 19. They're all 18. So it's I, I give the advantage to Auburn if they have five juniors, two seniors, <laughs> one freshman, and three sophomores against nine freshmen. So There you go. That's just how it works. That's why I can't wait. It should be fun. It should be fun. Are you ready? Do you <laughs> want to do this? Oh, I'm probably ready. Yeah, yeah. This next. Um, so now I go to this one. Yeah, go ahead. My last of my predictions. Yeah. No well, I mean, spring training. We've actually been on Twitter, and they have canceled spring training and the what the first two, two series. First two series. So no one cares. No one really cares, but we're going to try to fix it. We've got some plans, some ideas, some ways that... Uh, I'm going to help baseball fix it right now. It's, and this is how we do it. And first of all, the best way to do it is just quit. <laughs> just move on. Get a get another job. That would fix it, because then we wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. We wouldn't have to listen to baseball players who don't make enough money or owners who obviously don't make enough money um, complain about making more money. But here, the... the, the the honest problem is, is that baseball, no, it's it, nobody cares anymore, and and their and their fan base is dying. One thing, um, it's not taking me out to the ballpark anymore when it's forty five dollars for your kid to also sit next to me. Um, uh, they don't even sell Cracker Jacks anymore. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I don't all, know. I'm just, all I wanted was I, a five dollar ticket and a hot dog. I, I can't do that anymore. No, you can't do that. So, but but here's the deal. Here's the deal. Is baseball baseball is 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 the only three season team, is the only three season sport. It's a long time. It's a long time. It gets spring, summer, summer, fall, <laughs> right? You know, just <laughs> runs on through. That's that's very, you know. Every day, it almost gets monotonous. It's is that monotonous. What you're it's it is. It's it's three seasons. I mean, it's like you know. I understand. You get a little summer. You get a little fall. You get a little, you get a little spring. You get a little summer. You get a little, you get a little, you get a little fall. You get a little winter. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, you know? but three, three. So listen, here's number one. We gotta, we gotta cut it in half. And then when I thought about that, I said, well, that's just totally insulting because basketball and hockey at least have eighty-two games. Right. So I gave you the eighty-two. Eighty-two. Yeah. Baseball's the same as the rest of them. Eighty-two. Games. Eighty-two. 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 All right. The other team, the other sports seem to be making revenue, and uh, with the eighty-two games, seems like it's working out. For it seems well. to be like I don't see football seems to be doing well. They got like 21, 22 of these things yeah. on a weekly basis. Now I know football players; you can't ask them to play eighty-two games because it would be lawsuits everywhere <laughs> for dead people. Because <laughs> you can't do that. Right, that's that's an apocalypse. Kind you of need game. six months on. Yeah, it is. You need six <laughs> months off and six months on. You need to rest your body for six straight months. Do you have Aaron Rodgers and his cleanse? 
<laughs> What's he doing now? So after like right after the football season ends, he does this peak K. I don't know some some plans, man. Where uh, basically on the third or fourth day, you vomit and diarrhea at a constant for the whole day, and the next day is therapeutic vomiting. <laughs> so, so yeah. So see, football is hard. So oh, I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm not asking <laughs> those guys because you know, apparently they have to like kill themselves to get back to normal. But I feel but, like there's an easier way. But anyway. yeah. But he, yeah, either well, he two time MVP. Apparently it's working. <laughs> yeah, Roger Craig never won an MVP. That's all right. Uh, he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to. So listen. So so we've cut it in half, right? Because now we realize we don't need 162 games. Exactly. And we and we fit that in. Between basketball, hockey, and football. So you got so mostly a, summer. And then a little bit of here, a little bit of there. No, 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 no. You no. get your spring training, because it's only the spring training people that go to spring training. Nobody like I don't go to spring training. I don't even watch one game. I watch <laughs> like I watch 17 games a year. It's my I've been in, and guess what? They charge you almost the same amount C. as a regular game. And C. I was expecting to go down there and just see some guys. No, that's that's wrong. Play some games. Play some games. Should be free. Nah, they take it to everybody. Totally eight dollar beers the whole night. <laughs> should be. <laughs> well, beers should cost you eight bucks. If they gave that away for free, there wouldn't be no children there. <laughs> It'd be a bunch Fair of enough. drunk people. But listen, but it was so not we, a relaxed hey, atmosphere. We, we've cut this to eighty-two games. We've fit it in between. Now listen, I'm giving you, I'm giving you spring training, and you should be a little rushy because honestly, when football season starts. You, you gotta just. You, you just gotta, gotta. You gotta get your stuff done you before Sunday. It, you gotta be done. Don't be. Don't be <laughs> yeah. doing stuff on Sunday. No, right. don't. I mean, listen. You have to be finished. You can't have World Series games while the football season's on. I don't want Sunday night no. football and the World Series on at the same time. I feel bad for the World Series, and well, it should be the number one thing watched. It should. I'm trying to help baseball. <laughs> I'm not trying to help football. They don't need my help. No. They're fine. I'm trying to talk about football more, but it's not going right now, and I'm forced <laughs> to talk about a sport that won't start. So, so we've cut it down. We've 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 brought it to 82 games. Yeah. And and now we maybe maybe we can watch a few because there's not so many and monotonous and oh yeah it almost becomes a monday wednesday friday kind of thing maybe, you have you know? to now because we die from monday thursday sunday right make me die from monday wednesday Friday. make it worthwhile make it worth my while yeah, um I mean, you know i i can't talk about salaries i can't talk about money people make i can't talk about prices they set uh, if you took away games i still don't think you have to raise the prices because i actually think you're going to get more fans because I think fans are going to go, well, hell, there's only one game at the house this week. Oh, yeah. There's only two games at the all house. The money is in TV all anyway, the, right? All the money is in TV. And all the money is going to be in streaming here soon. And who knows gonna get who's going to get what contract. And who knows when it's going to get who, what job who's going to get. So it's going to change here very soon. But baseball needs to change. Or we'll be talking about hockey or cricket. basketball. And football. We'll bring some cricket up. We could bitch. bring cricket into this. It's not going to do any. Nobody's going. to... Once again, it's swinging a ball at a bat. It can go for like thirty-seven hours. What's the longest? Yeah, but it's at? a big open field. You can just watch with binoculars. How long has cricket gone before? I mean, ten hours. What's the longest cricket match? Oh, uh, like days. 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 Weeks, I think. Weeks. <laughs> Sometimes there's actually still a game going on that. 2020 championship. Yeah, right. So, yeah, right. And Posh lays up to the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> and Swain misses. It's up in the air. And, 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 and it's caught by Sir Winfrey Charles. And the game is... We are moving on to the next thing. I mean, that's not going to work. All right, that probably won't work here. It's not going to work. So, listen, I, I fixed baseball. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. Right? If, you know, if you just make everything simple, then it, it, it's everything becomes easy. I like it. All right. So listen, we've done baseball, we've done basketball. We've can we talk about it? Can we talk about the football? A little bit of football. Well, I'd like to start off the football thing with a little shout out. I, I love shout outs. Yes, uh, our boy uh, Lionel James passed last week. Oh, the little train. He did. Yeah, he part did of that know. great uh, Fouts. Yeah. Chargers. Chargers. Team. I that's I did not know that. 
Yeah, well, I mean, without uh, without him, there's no Tomlinson, no McCaffrey, no Kamara. No, there's, there's none of that. Yeah. No, man, I, I did not know that Lionel James had passed away. And I usually am pretty much up on the who has died. Yeah, no, I, just, I kind of saw it out of nowhere. It was just a little blip on the side somewhere. I would, and I was I like, that was one of my guys right there. I would have caught that and been very sad, actually, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that was an exciting team. That Bolts team. That Yeah. I, and I have always loved the Bolts. <laughs> I've never wanted them to win anything. But I, I have just always loved the players. Didn't really want them to lose. No, I didn't want. Them, no, I mean no, I didn't. But I, you know, I, I've just always liked the, the color of the jerseys, the, the, the. I mean, style of offense. They've always been pretty man, fun. Oh man, always a blast. I've always loved them. So yeah, I wanted to mention that real quick. Um, well, that's, that's 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 very heartbreaking. Yes. R.I.P. to our boy. I, I hate when you lose any of them. You know what I mean? I just you know. You watch them, you know, it's, and you grow up watching them. Uh, just, I, mean, top, I mean, like, who's your top five growing up watching? Myself? Just running backs or just a, whoever? Because, I mean, okay, well, let's most see, of them okay, are Niners. Well, no, let's see. <laughs> yeah, no, you know what? I would say Packers, but there was a lot of great players out there. Let's say, let's start this today. First day, first podcast. Let's say uh, favorite five running backs growing up watching. I don't want to hear any of these today running backs. Do I exclude Roger Craig and all those guys? Or? I don't want to hear their names. All right. I won't say a Packer at running back. All right. <laughs> and I won't mention Roger Craig because he was the man. Okay. I won't say a Packer running back in the early times. I mean, easy go Sanders and Peyton right away. I mean, those guys were unbelievable. Unbelievable to watch. Okay, sure. So those two. Are you placing them one and two? Yeah. And that's who one, one, who two? Sanders, Peyton. You said it. You said it when you said it. You like... You like Freud came out. You said Sanders and Payton. Absolutely. And I don't have to correct that. Okay, go ahead. No. <clears throat> hmm. That's. I mean, honestly, just on the spot like this is tough. How about Eric Dickerson? I put Eric Dickerson. I just love the way he ran that up, up, upright style. He got to it like that guy. He's like, he's the Derrick Henry. Uh, he's the old Derrick Henry, but he's just not as big and as not as fast. I like it. How about a uh, little Christian Okoye on the Christian, other side? Uh, that's this big bruising type. Okay, I like that. How about Earl Campbell? I was just going to say Bo Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're already, uh, we're over the limit now. I'm going to have to get rid of uh, Christian Okoye for Christian Bo, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Uh, right. Bo Jackson's got to be in there. Yeah, we both do almost agree upon the same. Then you have to. I mean, yeah, there's, I, there was only so many, so many. How about Billy Sims? Remember Billy Sims? Uh, you know, stop playing too young. I agree, actually. You know what? Another lion. Another lion who's... <laughs> That is weird. That is weird. We never even thought about Brady's Billy Sims. Brady's got to go to the Lions. <laughs> we never thought about Billy Sims could have been the star in this whole thing. Like yeah. the, I mean, like nobody paid attention. All right. But was it Billy Sims that said, I'm out. This is <laughs> bullshit. I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> I don't really know, man. I don't get it. That's crazy. Okay. But so Billy Sims started the whole thing. Barry Sanders did, loses the credit that he used to have. And Billy Sims takes his place. I think Billy Sims might have been injury related a little bit too. So. Oh, maybe. So it's yeah. possible. It's still not quite, not quite as nasty as they were to Barry and uh, Calvin. Still a lion. <laughs> still a lion. Still got still, screwed somehow. Yeah, still left <laughs> earlier than he should have. This is crazy. <laughs> that's just the common theme here. Is what I'm saying. Um, so okay. So yeah. No, that's yeah. Okay. So next week receivers. No Jerry Rice. No James Lofton. All right. All right. All that's right. That's fair. Right. Sure. I won't even. I won't even say John Jefferson or Philip Dubs. I would just go completely right. Oh yeah, no. We could mention. So, I won't of say and Sterling Sharp, John Taylor. Uh, yeah, I won't say those names. Those names can't be said. I'll say them today, All right. because next week I won't say them and they won't count. All right, cool. Maybe okay. maybe we'll have something to argue about next week. I'm I'm gonna write arguing. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick some guy that you have to argue with. I thought you'd be mad. I fixed baseball. I thought you'd be pissed at me, and but see, you, you know it's gone. Oh yeah, like I said, if I don't get my. Uh, you know, what's it called? Like Fan Appreciation Day. They don't even have those. They're like, Fan Appreciation Day, here's a plastic bucket, and uh, hope you enjoy paying $100 for the day. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, even the A's. And the A's, they were Wednesdays, man. They were, like, fantastic. Oh, yeah, more than reasonable for a more long time. More than reasonable. And now it's, you got to buy, you know, like, 100 tickets, and you got to... Like, <laughs> Yeah, okay. it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. Okay, so, but not about baseball. Listen, we fix baseball. Hopefully baseball listens and they can fix right. themselves. Right. Four or five guests from now, we'll come back and let you know if it's open. 
Right, yeah. <laughs> in six months from now, we'll tell you what happened to baseball. That'll be when they figure it out. Um, so uh, who's the first quarterback to uh, fall for agency? Who's going to go first? Oh, I mean, I think we talked about this. We, it's got to be the, uh, the incumbents. Green Bay and Seattle are going to keep their guys, I think. So that's it. That's what you're saying. That's what's going to happen first. Is Aaron's going to go, I'm just staying in Green Bay. Well, unless he goes to Hawaii again. Maybe he'll be last. But I... <laughs> No, I know. Because I, you know what? If Devontae Adams wasn't in a contract year negotiation, and it was, I think he might go to Hawaii and say, well, you know, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just living my Aaron Rodgers life. It doesn't really matter. That's what he does. You know, I, Brett Favre, listen, I was Brett Favre's backup, and, and, and I literally had no clue for three years what the fuck was going to happen. <laughs> and if I want to make everybody not know anything for three years, well, nobody gives a shit about me. And maybe that's what I'm going to do. But I feel... I, I, you He's know, a I, bit spiteful, I think. No, I, I <laughs> thought that the first year I did. I thought that, and then I, and I thought to myself, well, hey, man, he, Favre did it to him for three years. Guy gets three years. But at the same time, I, I've listened to him a few times, and the last time he was on the uh, Pat McAfee show, he, he honestly, he seemed like he was like, you know what, I, I maybe didn't take into consideration anybody around me and the things that might have happened to them. And, I, I, and it just seemed like he just came in. He's coming in this year differently. You know what I mean? And I think you'll know this. I think you'll know by this week or next week that uh, I'm just staying. I'm just staying in Green Bay. I so you can still learn from your mistakes at age 33. I feel at 47, I'm still <laughs> I'm still popping these things off daily. Learn it. All Dang. the mistakes I've made, you know, right. I'm just popping them off, you know. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I think you're correct. I think they'll I, I, I think they'll just stay. I, I think um, I think those two are going to stay. I think there will be some movement. The Jimmy surgery, that's going to that's going to slow down who? The Steelers, Indianapolis? Who's that going to slow down? Uh, well, he still gets to start practicing in like July. So, I mean, he gets there before oh, the, the oh, main training camps and stuff. He just misses some summertime stuff. There, there's plenty of time. There. So, I think teams will still be interested, for sure. And then and then you're saying, um, so July. So, he's 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 still, a, he's still uh, how many times did Jimmy go to the Super Bowl? Once? Yeah. I mean, not, no, don't count the Patriots. And then how <laughs> many times the NFC Championship a few times? Oh, yeah. Two championships and one Super Bowl loss. Well, he can start on my team. I mean, other than the fact that I have Aaron Rodgers. I mean, you know what I mean? No, I mean, like, he's a, I mean, put you could put him on a good team. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, your uh, Colts. Your Colts call was good. Mike, yeah, being on the Colts, I think going to the Colts is he's a game manager and in the running back situation and the defense, and I think, I think get a couple of receivers on that team and Jimmy's in a good place. Uh, Pittsburgh, he could probably go to Pittsburgh. And I'm thinking three-team deal. We send uh, Jimmy to the Giants. We get some of their picks because they got a, bunch of them yeah, were, and then Saquon goes to the third team I haven't haven't figured out the third team yet but who yeah. needs a running back let's let's bring them into this who needs a running back <laughs> but anyway you know so. what I would say Jacksonville but the kid's gonna start this year right yeah most likely and I don't see too many people going after Saquon no not as, a, as a super valuable well yeah but we're trading Jimmy now so we're trade so what are we getting in the trade so it's second round pick and Saquon goes somewhere else and they got three first round picks yeah. a lot of offensive talent in the draft that's, not, that's if they hate Daniel Jones. I'm not. Which, I, I'm not you know sure. They, I'm I, not sure I, I, if, honestly, I don't think anybody can hate Daniel Jones. Uh, I think he deserves at least one more year to try to run down the middle of the field and not trip before he gets to the end zone. Because that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I here. mean, you, you can't. You can't go. You can't. You can't go. Uh, quarterback sneak <laughs> on your own four. I know that. <laughs> I would audible. Uh, he out almost that. made it. it was yeah, great. he did. I'm mean, just saying. I, I would have definitely audible out of that one. I would have went no coach. I'm not doing that one. <laughs> I'm gonna hand off to Saquon. He's got a better chance of busting one out. Nice. Right. So, that's yeah. what I think. That's what we're gonna remember about Daniel Jones. I think. I, I, so they might they might need to make a move. How about uh, okay? So we've, we've decided Daniel Jones. We we know where the first two are staying. We're they're staying. Jimmy's gonna go somewhere. Where's Deshaun gonna go? Is Deshaun gonna go anywhere? I don't think we know until the courts know. Yeah, uh, but that, yeah, I would think I mean, someone would take a chance. I, I mean, mean he, he's 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 worth. Half of them have been dismissed, you know. What I, I mean, I, I, his it, charges or whatever. It, it'll all be it'll, in in a couple of weeks here or whatever. It'll all be done. Yeah, and that's how it works. Someone it'll will work. take a chance. Yeah, on where Pittsburgh? No, no, they won't deal with it. I don't think Flores so. is there. Flores wanted him at Miami. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I don't I mean, think I'm he's not, got that much pool yet. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying, you'd need a quarterback. Listen, somebody is going to take a chance on one of the best quarterbacks in football. Oh yeah. 
I mean, I can see him, in, not, see him in Tampa Bay real quick. Yeah. Uh, well, well, speaking of that, then Jameis Winston, where is he going? Doesn't he stay in New Orleans? I would imagine. Do they, do they have to resign him, or is he just signed already? I thought he was a free agent. Yeah, I think they, I think they, they signed him. I think they will. Oh, okay. So, and that makes sense. Right? But I mean, he could go somewhere. He could fly to Denver and follow that train of terrible quarterbacks that went over there. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so then my last quarterback. Yeah, who we got left? I got last. This is it. Uh, Mitch Trubisky. Oh, uh, Mitchy, Mitchy. He's a Carolina Mitch boy. <laughs> Mitch is just sitting there, man. Mitch, I, I think there's a reason for that. You think? I mean, I, I mean, for all the teams that need a quarterback, Gardner, Gardner, Gardner Mitchy. Where's Gardner going? Is he going to go anywhere, Gardner? <sighs> Is he gonna be Phil? Is he gonna be Jail and Hurts backup forever? Gardner Minshew. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe they can switch. Trubisky could be the backup in Philly because he's more mobile, more like Jalen. Right. And yeah, send uh, send <laughs> Gardner over Gardner to go? Pittsburgh. To Pittsburgh. Yeah. So the mustache man in Pittsburgh. He's a Pittsburgh oh, guy. He is a Pittsburgh yeah. kind of guy. That would work. Oh, out. I like that. I like that a lot. Do you see Gardner Minshew in a Pittsburgh uniform? Yes, I could. I could too. <laughs> I mean, he would almost like. You would know if he was the '70s quarterback, or you would think it was. The, oh man, <laughs> you put what you you got to change Watt's number. What was uh what was uh what was Lambert's number? You got it with. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Hold on, corrections. <laughs> yeah, yeah, write that on the correction right, yeah. for you just guessing ninety-seven from Jack. But no, I mean, I need a number. You know, like let's go back. You know, can he get that Terry Bradshaw with the mustache look? Yeah, sure. Why not? Bleach his hair. <laughs> Die. Just, just, just shave it like. <laughs> let's just shave it like today. No, today's no, Bradshaw. No, you, no, you can't go seventies and shave it like porn star Terry Bradshaw today. That would be a porn star. That'd be horrible. All That'd right. Be the worst thing ever. Okay, so, so at least we figured out where he's going. That's good. I think that's. I. I'm now. I am now fantasizing about Gardner <laughs> Minshew in a Steelers jersey. Yeah, he looked good. I, I think I might even put him on my fantasy team. Just second, not starter, not not don't get excited, but just the fact to have, you know, like you get it cool points, like style points, you know what I mean? Like Carter Mitch That matters a lot. I, a lot in fantasy. <laughs> it matters for you paying your money and losing. That's what it matters for. But no, I, I really think I think uh I think um You can make that offense work. I mean it's not uh, it's not too tricky, a lot of short stuff, made, a lot of Najee Harris. You made Jacksonville. For a little bit. Right, and they didn't have any receivers. They didn't have anybody. <laughs> I think this year, I think this year, they, I mean, I thought this year they had a lot of young talent. I think this, I next I think next year they're the most improved team. I'm going to make that prediction. LaVisca, is he the comeback player of the year? LaVisca Chenault. I don't know if he's the comeback La player Vizca. of the year. But I, 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 I would make a prediction today to say that the Jacksonville Jaguars are one of the most improved teams next year. Between, uh, under Peterson's coaching, all right. And 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 this kid has always been a superstar, and I can't see him not getting a chance. I think they'll be the most improved team in football next year. Fair enough. I think Trevor Lawrence is terrible. I, I <laughs> really no. I know I can't say. I'm not going to say terrible. I, I think Trevor Lawrence is going to do. I think he's going to be the most improved Rose quarterback. Be the wrong there. way. I don't know. I don't uh, know what it is about him. Whether he's just a little know, bit slow in his decisions tall. or. Fast and good looking, and it angers you every day to see His that. hair is like, amazing. It's amazing. See, and that's what frustrates you. And I'm the bald guy. I mean, honestly, if anybody's going to be mad at Trevor Lawrence, it should be me, and I'm not. So I'm just saying. That's fair. That's, that's fair. fair, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's. Uh, I, that, listen, uh, top five football movies. Let's finish this. Top five football movies. Football movies. Give me, give me your top five. Well, Starting, necess necessary roughness. Are we, we gonna start at five or one? Start at five. Don't give me number one. I want to be. I want to like build up to it. See, are you okay? That was number two then. <laughs> really? So I'll start at number two. Necessary roughness. I feel like I already know what number one is. <laughs> if you're gonna go on necessary roughness, is number two. All right. Go ahead. So so five. So number two is unnecessary roughness. Give me five to two, and then possess. You hit me. Do you have a list? <laughs> I, I have my own list. Yeah. Well, let's four. start with your list. Of my list. Yeah. Okay. So my list. Yeah. Number five, I'm going to go with the replacements. Okay, Keanu Reeves is awesome. Cheerleaders, smoking hot in that one. Smoking hot. Smoking hot. Smoking hot. Smoking hot. Smoking hot. Uh, uh, number four, the program. Program. Introduce us all to uh, drugs and drugs rage and, and all that fun stuff. stuff. That yeah. was amazing. Um, 
the what's the, I keep forgetting the name of this one. The blue one. Um, Varsity school, Blues. Varsity Blues. <laughs> With the whipped cream. Yeah, 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 the yeah, whipped cream. Yeah, yeah. yes. Um, and then uh, number two. It's got to be necessary roughness, right? <laughs> It's um, and and this is the the one with Pacino and as the coach and what the hell's the name, with uh, uh, any given Sunday. That was a good one. Yeah, and then absolutely. Number one for me, I like remember the Titans is still just my favorite football. It's the Denzel one. one. This is the Denzel one. All right. All right. So what do you got? Well, I'm gonna get rid of the Denzel one completely. Really? Are you gonna get rid of it? Really remember the absolutely. Titans? I'm going to go with Little Giants at number five. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I didn't know we were going to touch heartstrings. I thought we were just going to talk, say the best five football movies. Go ahead. Little Giants. Right. Number one. I like it. Go Number five. Go ahead. No, no. And then you're uh, you're obviously the one with the Pacino. I keep forgetting. Any Given one. Sunday. Any Given That's Sunday. The classic. The, the program. The program. Oh, I love the Laren, uh, Laurenitis. What was that guy's name? The crazy guy who did the steroids? <laughs> oh, man. Love that guy. Go ahead. Yes. Um, and then... Um, unnecessary roughness. Unnecessary right roughness. Right number two. That means I have to have a number one. I think it's unnecessary roughness again. Not the replacements? I mean, I thought you would have went unnecessary roughness replacements. Because you were just... Right, you, right, right. you just went that route. I just you know stuck I mean? with... For you to go unnecessary roughness, I said, well, is he going to start with Keanu? Replacement should have been is, two, is, is, And then unnecessary. Because yeah, there's yeah. the two. Those two, like... Yeah. You know, I like... I, I, lo I put the replacements in number five because I just... I love the replacements, and I think it's one of the best football movies. Of Hackman, Hackman, uh, I love Hackman. Keanu Reeves, classic. fabulous, classic. Uh, the program, I, to me, is just. But remember the Titans. When you talk about just, I mean, like changing football and things, that I, I think it's just a fabulous movie. So uh, that's that's it's not a bad top five either. You, yeah, you caught me off guard with that one. Yeah, well, I, you know, every once in a while, I throw you off guard. So just to just to see how you're doing, make sure you're still with me here in the end. Gotcha, gotcha. That's so fair. that's fair, right? Yeah. Well, all right. Well, uh, any uh, any any predictions for this week? Oh no, I was way off on all these. We got the spring training thing. Yeah, no spring training. No, I got that right. You got that right. The Warriors played tonight. And what was they that? played Minnesota? I thought they were going to be really mad because they uh. Gave up a huge oh, lead to the Mavericks. Yeah, the Mavericks. Yeah, so they've been getting shoot. schooled the last couple of days. But they came out, and uh, Timberwolves never um, never fell behind. They whooped up on the Warriors again. Nice. So another loss. The other prediction was Ja for MVP. Yeah, man. I, I hope he's Ja for trade to Knicks MVP. <laughs> but yeah, we we all want to see him out of Memphis. I oh, mean, Memphis is a great town. Don't get me wrong. He but needs to be in there. He needs to He's be. a star. He's a star, man. That guy's <laughs> New York, LA, Chicago, Miami. He jumps so off two feet, one yeah, foot, left foot, right foot. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere where he deserves basketball. to be. Put him in Houston for all I care. Just not in Memphis. That's just not, not fair. Not fair. Uh, well, um, we got anything else? I got uh, my random fucked up thing of the day. Yeah, give it to me. All right, I guess uh, in Australia, there was a gator, 20 right. foot gator, you know, just chilling. And uh, it rained. Okay. He got enough momentum, jumped out of his little cage. Oh, no. Started harassing neighbors and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, no one was killed or injured. Wow. But I mean, imagine just like seeing it rain going, uh oh, 20 foot monster coming my way. Oh, man, that's insane. That's why I don't go ever, ever to Australia. Never. I mean, stay in the cities. No, I'm not even going. <laughs> not even there. The, I, I, I won't even fly over it. I'm afraid, like, I don't even know, man. Like, Okay. Wallaby is not back and stuff. Everything that can kill you lives there. Right, top ten most dangerous everything: spiders, snake, snake, the octopus in the water, the little blue thing, <laughs> the little blue ones. Yeah, little, oh, the kidding. little guys. Oh, look how cute he is! Oh, look at the poison of five million men in one bite. Oh, I died. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. All right. I, 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 more power to the crocodile guy, man. Whoever that guy was. <laughs> Whoever's trying to keep one in a fence, Steve, like a yeah. sheep. Yeah, right. Steve, <laughs> Steve Irwin, you still today. You're still my hero. You know, in many years. You know, so um, yeah. Well, that's that's interesting. All right. That's frightening. It is. Yeah. I don't think I can handle that. No way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not messing with those gators and stuff. Not one time, man. I'm not messing with any gator. Not one time. Never. Um, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. You, is that, you got anything else? 
Uh, not for this week. I'm saving my uh, top lefties for next week. Nice. I, and I, 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 I listen. I, I really felt like I fixed baseball, so I'm good. I got nothing else. All right. Uh, I'm FB. All we gotta do is rig the draft, and I'm the goo. And there you go, man. <laughs> nice. That's uh, rig the draft. That's fabulous. Can we do that? I think so. I don't think you can. Yeah, maybe. maybe. We'll try. Maybe. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad. I think that was better than. I mean, I, I just that was.